Hello anyone who may be watching now later on on YouTube, I bet you're not catching... There we go. Yeah, always something that goes wrong, huh? <laughs> Hello anyone who may be watching now later on on YouTube, Helene here along with... And that was me hitting the mic, sorry for that, if that made a sound. And with me, Dricky here. And no, it was not me, me he hit. <laughs> I'm not the mic, luckily enough. Uh, yeah, it's still going to need some getting used to to have this thing over here. But uh, yeah, welcome back to Let's Stream Bloodstained Ritual of the Night for the tenth time, which I think makes this the longest running uh, Let's Play slash Let's Stream that we've done so far. I think that one that went a bit longer, one of the Legacy of Cain games, but that one. It was more like one episode or two, you were stuck almost on the same place for too long. Uh, probably Soul Reaver 1 with that. Yeah. Here, at least you're not being stuck in that way, so... We still make, made some sort of progress all the time. And yeah, I also... Uh, last time, we fought and beat Zangetsu again, and we got his sword from him. Uh, which is apparently the only thing that can damage uh, Grammarie, the demon that we met in the very first stream and have hardly seen since, or not at all, actually. And yeah, the demon that is controlling Jeebel. And I was half right last time in that we had to fight him now, after all. But the hint I found basically said to fight him, but not kill him. And what we were supposed to do is one of those things that makes that makes you see once you know how what you're supposed to do makes you think like okay that <laughs> we were supposed to find that out only through trial and error and through the entire freaking game okay immediately a backup save there you go. Sorry about I had to switch to my bigger fan. Okay, so you got a fan club of your own now. Uh... I knew you would make that joke. <laughs> and it is more sad that I do have a... one big fan, two medium fans, and one tiny fan of reason I got. <laughs> Of four. <laughs> okay, there will be nothing new here. Yep. Yes, yes, what is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Get down here and get your ass kicked. The blood moon does not look like a blood moon. Ah, well. We have to hit it when it gets red, aren't we? Yep. Kind of spoiled what the, what we're supposed to do, but yeah. Uh, with your eyes completely focused on Jibo for this fight, uh, you're not very likely to notice that the moon is supposed to turn red at some point. And I should probably remove this guy. Actually, let's just remove... Well, we might as well see if this one does anything other than buff us. But, uh, yep. Are you just corner camping, Jeebo? Yep. You're getting <laughs> Ganondorfed again. Yep. Ow. Yeah, I gotta try and keep an eye on the uh, moon. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Uh, let's see. There we go. Wait, the moon was in the room? Grammarie was disguised as it. You little shit. So, uh, yeah, that blood moon that was chasing us around. <laughs> I've... I've 
I've missed you. Uh, that blood moon that was following me around in that one room like seven streams ago. That was Grammarie in disguise. Or under an illusion. In disguise under illusion, same thing, pretty much. I knew yeah, you it, it's surprising. I knew it. You kept your promise. Thank you. Uh, he's still crystallizing. What's going on? No, the corruption shouldn't spread this fast. It's, it's better this way. The world can be rid of me. But this, this castle, we can't allow it to. Shh, I know. I know I'll destroy it. But you're going to live, Jibo. <laughs> I'm glad I got to see you smile. One. shouldn't have come to this, my friend. Are you ready, Johannes? I am if you are. Yes. I have a new promise to keep. If you plan to destroy the castle, you won't be able to do it without the Lieber Logaiath. Then I need to track down Alfred. Gremory will be after him, too. Tracking Gremory might be faster. The moon, you mean? I'll try it. Yeah, he... He didn't deserve that. Yeah. He was innocent in this. Yeah, but we both know that many times innocent are taken anyway. Yeah, the people of the village also didn't deserve to be killed. Hmm. Okay. Where to next then? Good question. Because, yeah, now, now it's basically a Scooby-Doo chase throughout this entire place. And we have no clue of where they are. And we might as well put this thing back to the night. I get the feeling we found most of the... Uh, I think we found most of the hidden passageways. That's the minion one. Yeah, and I, I haven't checked it, but I am pretty convinced that the Carpenter, Celeste's, and Millionaire's rooms are basically, well, backer-made bosses. So, where do we go? We found doors for, actually gave us skills that we needed. Well, I, I think only... Um, I think none of the optional bosses, which I presume they are they are have been no, we haven't we haven't defeated any actual optional bosses oh so i can't say we've they've i you can't we can't really say if, if they've had skills that have let us progress more and yes since we, since we maxed out on these anyways i might as well remove all of them hmm. we'll find those boxes again when they've refilled up actually they they just show up like this anyways so the there's really no real need to mark them. I am yeah. better That's to well, save these for this here. How do you know that the bosses you met there are optional? Nah, I, it's just a big hunch in it. And with other games like this, or with, with a bunch of Kickstarter games, you you have those backer, um, backer levels. 
tiers where they give people the ability to or they will let someone design an enemy a boss a stage or such so and well obviously this game got <laughs> kickstarted by like a lot so yeah i get the feeling some people at the very least got those boss tiers hmm. it, it is all just assumption <laughs> It's the Caterpillar Squad again. <laughs> There's just no fucking way you can take that thing seriously. Uh. Yeah, I think that's the point. Like, they saw the demon, that demon and one of those demon books. I thought, we could take it seriously. Let's <laughs> run off it and put it on a wagon. Uh, I... I I don't think we've got... Let's take a quick little look here. Uh, demons. Wait. We haven't gotten a shard from those things? Then again, they've only been in like the first few screens. Uh, same for the giant rats. Uh, monkeys have we haven't gotten the shard for. Kitty cat number one. Wolfman is only at the tower. Thunder Elemental was... In the library? Wait, I think you just mispronounced it. Hmm? I think you, I think you just said Murder Elemental. I thought I said Thunder Elemental, but then again... Uh, mouth and brain don't always line up with what the, they both want. Oh. Yeah, as well on my end, I have a fan in my ear. <laughs> like, this... This thing looks like a, like some sort of demon Pac-Man. Waka waka waka, <laughs> waka waka your soul. I mean, it looks like a evil eyeball that wants to be a knight. Let's see. Like a mini beholder. Okay, this. There is still a lot of enemies that we haven't seen. Mm, yeah. I, I presume from here on the, it'll be the bosses, and we get in. Well, uh, we didn't exactly kill Jeebel, so we didn't get a shard from him. So Getsu gave us his sword, and so that means that there are some five bosses left. One of which is pretty sure to be Gremory. So four bosses and... Have you having your voice there? Hmm? Are you mumbling into the mic? No. No. If I am, I didn't notice myself. Yeah, but your voice has changed a lot there. Okay, that was completely an accident then. But uh, yeah, Grammary most likely and four other bosses. But for now, we have... Uh, yeah, we have two assholes to chase around this, this place. And practically no idea of where to start looking. So, yeah, let's start from this very from the beginning and come through this place. Maybe Miriam, no, no, no maybe not Miriam. Maybe Dominic has uh, some advice. Hello, what can I do for you? What uh, no advice. <laughs> let's see. We've got quite a bunch of this now. Is this good? I hope. <clears throat> Thank you. Come back anytime. Mm. Oh, hello, Miss. Oh, you're looking fit as ever. I s the suspicious side of me still thinks that there is something going to be with Anne here. Mm. Or maybe she gives crests later or something. More special Let's items. See. What are we transmuting this time? Maybe. Have we, wait, have we still not found any hot pepper or something for that? Uh, 
for more rice? No, we still haven't found black pepper anywhere. Uh, we could maybe take a look where it might be, but... Hmm. I suspect we, it might be around areas we've not been to yet, but... I would be surprised if there's a one or two more areas we've not found yet. Could be, uh, but there, there are, there's the millionaire's room and the war horse room, but I'm guessing those will, um, well, we, we have the millionaire's door and the war horse's door, which both require a key, but I'm assuming those leads to optional boss rooms, not entire new areas. So yeah. wherever we are supposed to go next, it's, uh, it'll probably be through teleportation. Anything that would give us our Calcum? We haven't gotten any new rings in quite a while. Yeah, true. Um, let's see, anything? Okay, we can make quite a bit here now. S soy sauce, cheese, we are low on. Let's see, what do these upgrades? Because regeneration ones would be the better ones. I'll go with this. Great. And then let's see. Seafood curry. That gives that gives quite a big boost to the intelligence. And yeah, we have been sparse with our spells but still whenever we use them it is a good amount to get it is still good to have more damage with those oh only now i realize the now on her back is not a tattoo it's an actual pull out crystal flower <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I just thought it was a crystal tattoo not a that Yeah, I think I think for now we'll just have to give up on uh, saving these things for Granny. Great. We'll just make them when well when she wants them. But first, we need to find those damn <laughs> damn pepper. Yeah, most of them we can buy at least. I'll go with this. Yeah, and well, if we've made something, we can just buy it back uh, to give it to her there to give to her then. I'll go with this. Great. I'll go with this. And yeah, we we Great. These bonuses are a little small in comparison to everything else, but uh, every little bit and such. Great. Yeah, uh, any permanent stat bonus or subs is useful in the long run. In, but it is a lot of ingredients that we've run through. Great. Okay, but that'll be enough for now. So now this, let's just chow down. <laughs> Wait, we already had one of those? I'll be glad I have something to eat at the moment. Achievement unlocked Dare to Devour. Okay, and that is a good amount of uh, bonuses that we've gotten so far. Let's see. Yeah, look at your health. Okay, we got 125 uh, extra from that. And I still forgot to move that freaking notifications bar. Like, how do I even move that? Let's see. Ta-da. Notifications, yes. Uh, At least the notification does not appear for me when you stream it for me. 
Yeah, but it is a bit annoying for me. Yeah, the only, only time I see the notifications is when you and me watch a movie together. Let's see. That, why does it not let me set uh, somewhere to have that appear? Or am I just overlooking it now because I'm skimming through this? Hmm. No, that's the voice settings. Ah, screw it. Actually... I know of a way to... Yeah, do not disturb. There we go. Now that, that should not be appearing and annoying me anymore. <laughs> hmm. Alright then. We won't really need this for a bit because... Yeah, we already have... More, we are already more than powerful enough... The steam rolls for pretty much everything in the region, so I'm looking for anything that gives luck up. <laughs> of course, it's these stupid things. Let's see. Mm. Mm, yeah, the reason I want luck to be up is for, well, higher drop chances. Yeah, but there's still things we still need that haven't dropped for us. Uh, not exactly need, really, but... It'll be nice to fill in the compendium. Yeah. Did you... Did you take a look at the face? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's the stupid... Uh, Marx Brothers glasses. Yeah. And oddly... I, I, I kind of glad they made, made it a bit more unique, but it still looks... Silly as oh. all hell. Yeah, but almost odd at the same time. He's just almost freaky in a way. Let's see. I can't really say the same myself. It is a bit oddly colored. But... And style, like it's, it's golden tipped with fire and all. Yeah, I've, I've seen much uh, weirder stuff. Let's see, we are at 25 minutes of recording, so about 22 minutes in. Let's let's give it 15 minutes to look around. If we don't make any progression, then we'll look up a hint again. Because I have absolutely no idea where to even start looking up. Wait, I just realized. Hmm? A boss door's red. Yeah. And the carpet door is red, but the mirrorless door is blue. Hmm. I didn't actually see any... I didn't actually notice if that was the case. Uh, I more looked at, well, the fact that it's locked and barred. But we, we could take a look to see... If they are differently colored. Yeah, but if I'm right, there perhaps been the ones that were locked that was meant for progress. Like, they were blocking our path to the next area. So maybe if we... Hmm. Yeah, mostly theorizing, if it what I remember. I just hope I remember right. I uh, will have to take a look. And why did I have this thing marked? Yeah, it, I may have been right a, a lot of things here, folks. Surprise amount. But I'm not going to let that l bring me to be arrogant to think I'm going to be right every time. Yeah. There are a lot of people who forget that. Yeah. Wait. I'm trying to remember to be a bit humble. I know that memory can betray you. Okay, we know Grammarie hides as the moon, and see, was a bit uh, irresponsive with bringing up the, sp the spell. Actually, I think it was over here 
that uh, Grammary in the illusionary disguise chased us. So let's take a look over there. Yeah, for in any room, uh, the area that you can see the moon is probably a good candidate. Let's see. No, oh no, this was where we fought Zangetsu. Oh, no, it, it's too early. This is where we fought Sengetsu. And was it the next? Or the second room over? Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, there is a moon there, and... Uh... I get the feeling that any room where we can see the moon, we might be... Getting one step closer. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was to the left from here. I am still fully in guessing mode. But, yeah, we'll have to see. Was it this room? No, it was not. And was it perhaps... Hmm. I know it was somewhat early. It, it was above ground, so everything below this line, it was not. And we were going from left, from right to left through it. Hmm. Yes, my memory can be good when picking, trying to pick up on some specific things. <coughs> Pardon. Hmm. Okay, then. Now. And it was around the area where Zengetsu was. So maybe one over here. Hmm. And the only reason why I'm some my memory is somewhat working with this is because of the, the, <laughs> the Blood Moon following us. And, well, then later, just not. So that made the room really stick out. Yeah, I was thinking about the room to remember where the heck would you be find that one? Because there was a room that was only a there moved on. That might be answered. There was a room where oh, there was no mobs, only a moon. I think... Yeah, it, it was empty. And, uh, that's the room we need to find. But that, that, that sounds almost like it's qualified to be a boss room. Yeah. Was it... Was it the next one over here? Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Get back here, you motherfucker. <laughs> Let me help you in. I'm gonna, just gonna kick you in. And here we go. New area. Den of Behemoths. Uh. Why does everything look bigger? Den of Behemoths. What, what, what do you think? And what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> they put one of those... <laughs> They put one of those cannon things at the back. They became a living tank. Literally. Ah. Uh, wait, we... We had gotten the shirt from that? Okay, but... Uh, yeah, I guess we are in... Uh... Oh. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're in that uh, portrait world in Super Mario 64. Tiny big world or something? And, oop. Okay, big ass weed. Giant moco. Everything's giant here, ain't it? Yeah, and giant don't get toes. Eaten by frog. <laughs> Even the freaking chests. But the rewards aren't as big. Alright then. 
Let's put that back to the speed belt. There. Okay, but this does explain where the remaining 20% of the map was. Or at least him. Nothing on the roof. Okay. But that does make me guess now. Oh. Ah, there you are, you old bastard. like you what happened here master who did this to you okay so that that pretty much uh, sort of confirms that Dominique really was working together with him uh, or slash using him Wait. Master? With the lore books, we were assuming that they were written by Alfred and that Johannes was his friend. But this is saying that he, Johannes was Alfred's apprentice. So were the books written by a third party? Hmm. Johannes, I must... Make a boon of you. What? Uh, all right. Miriam, we need to talk. Uh, yes. I... I thought Alfred was our enemy. Dominique seems so keen on pitting me against the old alchemist that I decided to have a word with him after you and I fought. And unfortunately, he confirmed my suspicion. Which is? Dominique has been manipulating us this whole time. I'm not certain why. Uh, wait, what? If she had wanted to deal with this mess in an expedient manner, she would have sent you and me to deal with Jeevil together. Weren't you unwilling to work with us at the start, so you wouldn't have worked with us to start with, even? But instead, she divided our strength and insisted I chase after Alfred. It didn't make any sense. Alfred was never trying to get in our way. I'm not sure about you, but he got in my way. You misunderstand. All he wanted was to keep you as far away from the castle as possible. Because we possess a far, far more powerful crystal than Jibo ever did. Miriam would make for the perfect conduit to possess. Yeah, this was hinted at as one of the bad endings at last time. Yeah, which gave you achievement usurper which had <clears throat> Grimory basically stating that uh, yeah because of all of the shards we absorbed which we should sell off real quick yeah we would be very easy to possess and the question is what if the dominic we met is not the real dominique that there's a lot going on here yeah, and she, man she managed to get into places that took us quite a bit to fight our way into. So, yeah. first theory, there is no Dominique, or no Dominique anymore. Maybe it's Grammarie in disguise. Yeah, well, I could suspect that she was sent there 
But sometime Dominique took over the body. For like the, the, they did uh, with Jebel. Uh, you mean I think you meant uh, Grammarie took over. Oh yeah. Um, but so far still a theory. We know that Dominique hasn't playing been fair playing in they have been playing fair with us. But uh, enough theory. That's uh, Matt Pat's whole stick for now. <laughs> <laughs> Tuned to what? Of all the humans transplanted with crystal, you had the greatest ability to wield the demon's power. Alfred feared you would be used. Then why didn't he say so? Would you have believed him? Dominique had already won over you and Johannes both. And even if you had been inclined to listen, he knew you too well to think that you would back down. I suppose I wouldn't have. What do you think Dominique is plotting? As I said, I know not. We will just have to find her. And ask her. I think I have a good idea of what the reasoning might be. And it's the exact same reasoning as why the Alchemist Guild uh, summoned a well, basically caused an invasion of Earth by demons before to save their own asses from obscurity. Only I think Dominique wants uh, to use a second demonic invasion as a way to help the church stay in power or stay relevant. Bloody idiots! Master wants to talk to you. And not only me, Hilian, either. I mean, yeah, the characters here a bit. Miriam, forgive me for dragging you into all this. I am responsible for all your misfortunes. I hope. Can find it in your heart to <gasps> Alfred. He must have known you would not leave here alive. We can grieve later. Right now, we need to put an end to all this, or his death will mean nothing. You're right. Johannes, he explained everything to you. Yes, I know what I need to do. Then let us begin. First, Grimmery. She can't be far, but her mastery of subspace allows her to move about freely. Okay, so she's basically a teleporter. Hmm. Of sorts. In other words, she's likely to slip away again. I have a way of stopping her from leaving. Um, I'm... May I remember? I think one time he said something about the reason Zengetsu was sent after uh, Alfred was because he had a method of stopping him from teleporting away. I'm guessing that wasn't the blade. She knows uh -huh. I've given up the Zengetsu to and will spring at me then, believing me powerless. Okay, so it is probably the blade. That is when you strike. I will go on ahead. Join me. As soon as you think you are ready. I can't do much of anything until you get back the Lieber Logayan. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. But for now, this is in your hands, Miriam. Be safe. I will, Johannes. 
I'll be in the village if you need me. Wait, is that also why Dominic wanted to sell her the crystals? Good chance. Though, I think she said uh, at the start that she had some way of purifying them. But it might as well be that she is... Maybe she is actually pur purifying them, but it, for her own g gains. Hmm. Yeah, and it was meant to summon spirits, not demons, so... Yeah, that's the book, not the shards. Uh, yeah, she we'll might be see. doing some rap traps. Hmm. Yeah, it, could, it could be that she is amassing crystals for her own demon summon, or rather angel summon, perhaps. Uh, it is all just theory until now, but my guesses so far are that... Either she wants to uh, bring in an angel invasion or a sunken demon invasion. Either way, we want to stop her. Yeah. And uh, Alfred. Yeah, he, he was an asshole and he does bear a lot of the responsibilities for pretty much everything. Like being uh, at least partially responsible for the first demon invasion. But he was trying to, he was trying to, <clears throat> he was trying to make up for his mistakes. So I got to give him kudos for that. the exact same area as we where the uh, ferryman is here or would be uh, yep. yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah I did not expect to get jumped at like that and this is a tough motherfucker If this is exactly the same, then... No, it's not exactly the same. Because the uh, War Horse door would have been there. But it is very similar. And the heck is that up there? Oh! <laughs> it's a big one of you! Have I looked hungry? That's stupid! And Probably dead. Move. And dead, dead as well. Giant candles as well now. Arise, myself and my shadow. Hmm. Yeah, we are we are drawing in on a on a final climax, I think. Or a revelation of what the hell is actually going on now. There's a, there's a big chest over here. Well, all of the chests over here are big. But that's a big <laughs> red chest. So there is something valuable in there. Okay, what is over here that's stomping around? Oh, oh, uh, another one of you, huh? Oh, dear, not... Wasn't he a mini boss? Yes, he's back to war. Oh, uh, yeah, hello. Okay, I was more expecting them to come at us, and he's not f fly away. Big wimps. Yep, yep. Oh, I. Oh, I forgot. I forgot that was a technique, basically. Of... <laughs> Goomba stomping. 
Like, that was complete by accident that I was pulling that off. Because I was trying to invert there. Quick little f there, uh, and it's gone. Okay. Okay, the bats are just. Are they? Are they flying? No, they're they're trying to fly at us, but. Uh... We're so small in comparison that they just plain miss us. Yeah. And they don't seem to be so bright either. Hmm. Wait, why don't we have more HP or did that only upgrade a little? It upgraded by 20. Like each of the other ones so far, I think. Oh, we've got 1,125. Oh, yeah. Down, down, and then. Down, down, and then jump. That's that stomp attack. Oh. And it even goes diagonal. Uh, come on, only a thousand gold. If you're going to put down a big shiny oh, chest like that, at least put a weapon in it or something. Okay, I will say this again. Helium is Krushma Tuck confirmed. <laughs> and yes, they used that a bit earlier, and now I feel like that's definitely a confirmation. Get back here, you... Well, the, yeah, the layout of this area is exactly the same as the garden, only like uh, four times bigger. Or wait, there were weren't there fairies here? Hmm. Are you telling me there are gonna be giant fairies? Oh! Oh, yeah. Finally, giant rats again, and a giant cannon. Hmm. Okay, the layout is not exactly the same, but very, very similar. What if I get a shard from you? Is that going to give a summon giant bat? We're getting an ant. Okay, just a normal one. From their their normal sized companions. The heck are Oh. Okay, goopy. I'm thinking these things are probably a good source of experience as well, since they are quite tank. Actually, let's take a look. One for 1439 for the. I'm not going to test that against you. And now it's. Okay, yeah, they give like 200 experience. Right, it means the dragon would give more. HXD 1783. Did just the book have... want to get bigger? <laughs> yes, well, yeah. It's... Two months have passed. The church vanquished the demons, but too much human life had been lost. Once it was found, once it was found, we had a hand in the affair. My superiors were executed, and the guild left crippled. Alchemy's principle held. We sacrificed everything and gained just as much misery. Uh, only by some miracle was my life spared. 
Jibril did not die in the ritual, he is here, flanked by demons. He delivers judgments to the alchemists. My own punishment has come, and it will be far worse than the others. To the shardbinders who died at my hands, forgive me. And to you, my dear friend Alfred, I should have listened. May God have mercy on you. Yeah, that confirms it. This was written by a third party. Is will that, yeah, will that, will that third body remain unnamed or? Oh. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, we we traveled quite a bit before we got there, and why is that crown there? Yeah, I was I was to ask you there. Why is that crown there? Is that where we found that? Uh, that hidden enemy that got completely got the drop on up and and completely kicked her ass. Perhaps because you bought the crown, something has unlocked the crown. Like there might be a reason why it only costed one gold to buy. Well, I mean, uh, the hell is those uh, are Castle ships. What's with? What's with the Smash Bros logo? <laughs> wait, wait, what? If you remove the dots from that, uh, that's the uh, Super Smash Bros logo on the coins. Okay. Who or what is this? Is this a boss? Uh, yep. Valifair. Let, let go, you mother. Okay, that. Oh, no, 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 not, not that. I think we need a certain armor for this uh, area. Um. Yeah, you could say he's trying to stack the chips against me. I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> this game is stacked in against me. <laughs> Okay, his he the coins in his chest seem to be a, a health meter. Uh, you're going to try and grab, at, and instead I hit my head in the ceiling. We had a we had a bunch of those bone cakes left. Oh. If you have all of them, at least you can use them to fight. By the way. Hey, what the? Motherfuck! Give that. Did he just steal all of her gold? He stole all of her gold! I hope he gets the. We, we better get them back! That was 24,000. Better give us that though, or else we're reloading. Yeah. Or this looks like a second stage because he's gap mother gap. And he's got to get our money back. Yeah, that gives me an idea. That. Uh, let, let's go the other way and see if we can find a warp room. Yeah, and I think again, we're in this armor and we should be somewhat safe on the shadow. Mm, yeah, the, the, the roof should give a good amount of protection there, except from when he starts, tries to grab us. 
Yeah. No, but the ABC means the spikes won't harm you at all. Yeah. This means it will help a lot. It will continually give that annoying uh, no block sound. But oh well, better that than get all of her money stolen. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot about you. <laughs> oh. For a moment, I was going to say you can't catch me up here, but you can jump at me. And those have wings, you know. Still, that means he only can get contact damage on us. And not uh, full attack damage. And there he goes. Still smart of the enemy to know if they can do contact damage against you. Yeah, their AI must drive... In general, a, an enemy's AI will drive them towards you unless they're a ranged enemy. Typically, because those... Uh, those jumping archers haven't been really trying to keep distance from us. Yeah. But it's hard to be a hard to hit, though, by jumping so much. And I just made a realization. Oh? I know why Anne is a thing in this. Because I... Now that Dominique has been found out, uh, I very much doubt that she will still be at the uh, trading post. Yeah. And people think that maybe Anne, uh, if, if the Dominic is a traitor, Anne maybe is the new shopkeeper. But this, this especially makes it unique for... Yeah, big, it may make Dominic one of, one of the main villains that is actually a shopkeeper to you buy from. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I think it was two or three uh, streams ago that you pondered the possibility of Dominique being a villain. Yeah, in case you was for then that would be an interesting piece for what normally when you have a shopkeeper that you're supposed to kill, they usually a part of a smaller mean side quest, but Dominique here is probably not done with side mini quest to done part of the major funnel bosses. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about you. But I can easily run away from you. <laughs> so yeah, cool is they've taken that thing a bit step further. I'm I'm now I am curious now of how much of an effect it will have like the amount of shards that we sold to her. Would that oh. Wait Would that have an influence <laughs> on the amount of abil abilities she'd have? What is the attack in the stone? Because there's one of those uh, mokos underneath it. Oh, alright. Here I thought it was a hidden entrance. Oh, no, I that's, see that's Navi's you know, job. Actually, what? Where is Navi? Uh, yeah, we should uh, we should equip her again. To see if there are any hidden stuff around here. Oh. And I just realized something I should probably be seeing it on for Navi. And that is. Navi's Navi Dad. <laughs> I don't have a singing voice for five or just ten. I think it is. Uh, um, Navi. It's Spanish. Yeah, Navis Navidad. It means Merry That's Christmas one. in Spanish, I think. Yep, and yeah, it was meant as a pun. Fe no, Feliz Navidad. What is this? Hope him to turn it from all, but. He'll be sure not. Yeah. 
I completely forgot that we had that one equipped. But we mostly used it against the bosses, so... Not usually... They're not really used against the many mobs. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, these things are a bit tanky, so... I'll make an exception here. And we have recharging mana now. At a quite good pace, actually. Ooh, maybe another spell would be useful there. Like they want to shoot on several directions at once. <laughs> We don't actually need to fight all of these, but yeah, they are good experience. Uh, yep. Like 8,000 experience now to the next one. Wait, 400 experience. Is there any portal around here? Uh, I'm looking around for one. Yeah, we, I feel like we probably need to do that to return back to base and start selling. Yeah. Oh, out of mana. Okay, they, they drop a lot of gunpowder and a crystal, okay. Can attack on all from the from the from. Okay, I am sort of hoping that this is supposed to be a warp room, but no. <clears throat> yeah, actually, no. The, the safe room is sized to us. Oh, hello. Is normal sized? You're not. Keep up. Hey. Okay, He's random race. I w was not expecting a foot race. Is this a mini game? I'm just confused now. Also, there's no way in hell that we'd beat that him. Yeah, this is a mini game. <laughs> okay, so there, I guess there is no warp room here. Hmm. That's the portal we found earlier is still there. Uh. It's not showing up here, but it's where where was it? Um Zengetsu where? fight What's room it? here. There's a strange symbol on the map there. I don't recognize. Uh, where? Uh to your uh west 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 west. No, that's east. Do you see that there? That's where we found Benjamin the first time. Oh, and then we found right. him over there. And he's probably somewhere else again. We already found him, but you didn't free him again. No, he's we... in the media place. There was what? Under a there. What? Where? You mean you didn't realize he was there? I did not... The last time I saw him was over here. Oh, I, I told... Maybe you didn't hear me then. I told you there's Benjamin again. We crossed a bridge early on in that area. <laughs> I didn't know. I completely missed it. But where did you see him? In the, in the Japanese area. In the first uh, few areas there. Very, very early on. Okay, well, oh, no, since we're no. heading out anyways, then we might as well go look for his dumbass. Yeah, for he, 
you, you know, the, uh, the, uh, before the portal, there was uh, several bridges, stone and wood bridges. He was only one of them. The yeah. Good work. Yeah, Crimsonites. We needed that, sort of. Yeah, and yeah, as I guessed, Dominique has fucked off. Hello, miss. Huh. No Dominique? Uh, well, she said she had something to take care of. I'm holding down the fort while she's gone. Oh, good girl. But who will handle these shards for me? Oh, oh don't worry. She taught me how to do it. What? That sounds horribly unsafe. <laughs> well, try me. You'll see. Eh, yeah, mismatch between the text and speech, of course, but... Small issues, not giant, continually stupid things. Yeah, that's probably the only one so far. Yeah, compared to all the other things that we've seen in this game, like the, the sheer quality, small things like that can be forgiven. Now, yeah. Let's, and let's 60, buy a bunch of these. 60 bit looks as tempting. So I mean, you can upgrade one of the other weapons to be even stronger. Yeah, I, I was thinking we'd go back, buy one of these. So basically, we empty out our entire uh, purse to deny that boss uh, any healing. But let's look around for what we can get first. I just hope that if you kill him, you, you get all your money back. If not, then yeah, you better spend your money before you fight him. Yeah, I. this game isn't as bad. Uh, it, it, this game isn't as mean as that. It is tough, but it's fair. Yeah, but you never know. I have done all of this, like... I to need to, uh, to repeatedly kill a regular mob to get one warp yet skill just to swim. Yeah, but... So that was not mean, that was more questionable why. Yep. I know why, but I find it a bit hard to explain. Like, you know the old Castlevanias, right? Like the 8 bits ones and such. I know of them, but I never played them. Well, to my limited knowledge, they had similarly hidden things like that. Like, in the. Uh, I think it was Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. I might be mixing things up here. You had to progress at one point uh, by basically kneeling in a specific corner for a specific amount of time. Uh, and I forget if it was actually hinted at or something, but yeah, just that of course is an example of just bad uh, thing, but it is, it does show that, um, yeah, you need to explore and try a lot with this series and, at times. Yeah. Uh, it could have been much, much worse. Like, we had, like, finding a series of switches all across uh, the castle and having to flip those in a, sp a very specific order or something. It's good to see you. What are we transmuting this time? Let's see. Sword of Mercy? Hmm. I think... I'm thinking about... We have the Zangutso. The Zangetsuso. I'm messing up the name already again, but I'm thinking about swapping weapon types a bit for it again. Wait, don't we already... Yes, we have Imperial Armor. And some of the weapons have required these rings. Oh yeah, we were going to make one of these, so I completely forgot that. Yeah, just to make that... Uh... 
so you can expect the katana, uh, katana weapons better. And yeah, yeah, we have no real need to go exploring too much at the moment. But I, I do think we should try and experiment a bit again. And Get ready for explosions. This stuff may be... Wait. It doesn't even give a bonus? Do I even want to know what we're supposed to do with this? Great. Because we have no reason to actually eat it. Wait. Ain't dark matter a almost a yoke to when you made something extremely inedible? Could be. <laughs> that like, is me. You put in fruit, and the only thing you get is something that looks like that. Uh, yeah, there must be that. Like for last time I saw that as being anime special for Monster Monsuma when the Lamia girl tried to cook, and most of her cooking turned out like that. Even. I won't be surprised if we try to eat that and it actually hurts us. But I do... Okay, if we find one more beast milk, we can make this and... The, the, the liberation of the gods grants immortality and staves of wrinkles. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah. Two more uh, mana regain. Hmm? It's a rainbow drink. Uh, yeah, you can look at its icon. Yeah, uh, and I think this is... I think it might be a bit of a mistranslation with the ingredients. I, th I think this is might supposed to be ambrosia. And... Yeah, yeah they ambrosia. Have the nectar of the gods, I heard. that it, it, It's a thing, nectar of the gods. Yeah. It's one of the items you can get in Hades, for example. Uh, but ambrosia is supposed to be... Like that, but much, much better. So maybe a case of small mistranslation, but mm. something to <clears throat> wait, something to uh, ponder I'll later. Go with this. I'll go with this. Yes, we are definitely <laughs> upgrading this. I'll go with this. Invert? Yeah. What the heck does invert do when you upgrade it? Uh, it gives us a, a window of invulnerability whilst we switch. Oh, that is useful. Yeah, not extremely powerful or anything. And... But could be very useful in right moments. Yeah, if we accidentally uh, switch into their ceiling when it's spiked and such. Fairy Rings, or Kelkum, Sword Fragment, Tome Scrap? Hmm. I've learned the truth about your slumber, Miriam. As I suspected, it was Alfred's doing. Wait, so he actively sabotaged this, this, the ritual? Why did Alfred choose me? Because you were the most powerful one, so you, you were an easy pick. To create a catalyst capable of stopping time must have taken years upon years. He only had time to save one of you. But why me then? Because you were the most attuned. Yeah, you were the most fortunate slash unfortunate one. Wait, 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 wait. I think they, they, they planned to summon Bale, but failed. What yeah. if they would have succeeded if they had her? Yeah, they would have totally summoned a demon prince into the world. Sangetsu said the same thing. To put it a different way, if all the crystal of all the shardbinders had been brought together to create one big catalyst, then your power would have accounted for half of it. I'm not sure if that's something to be proud of. With half the catalyst's power missing, Alfred knew the experiment would fail. Well, that confirms that. Spilled, but at least the world would have some chance of being able to stop the demons. 
Yeah. So, hmm. So, in in the end, Alfred was partially responsible. No, wait. Not. It wasn't Alfred who discovered the crystals. It was the unknown third party, or the, the unknown alchemist, as I'll call them for now. And even then, they it wasn't their decision to use the crystals to summon the demons. That was the alchemist guild's uh, leaders. So... Yeah, Alfred was against it at first, but changed his mind at the last minute. But I guess he changed his mind again. No, I'm guessing they. We were just told that making these what he used to put Miriam in a to basically stasis slash coma uh, must have taken years to make. So that means that uh, he was opposed to the ritual and only changed his mind at the last minute as a uh, well pretend because he was he knew that the ritual would fail because he was going to. Yeah, poison Miriam, and just take her, and thus take her out of the ritual, and thus weaken it a lot. So, in the end, he he's been a he's been a jackass, but he's been a good guy all along. Yeah. Hmm. Bloody heck! That was a twist I wasn't really expecting. I was more expecting. This to be a case of uh, him being a lesser evil or so, or may a surprise. Uh, yeah, basically, him that him stealing the book would lead to him being the final boss or something. Yeah, I was hoping expecting that. Granted, even half the Shardbinder's power caused unthinkable tragedy. Yes, it did. But. Alfred must have realized the experiment was going to proceed regardless of our objections and decided half measures were better than no measures at all. It sounds as though you found a little forgiveness for him. Well, yeah. more confirmation than we were, uh, what we just said. Yeah. Hmm. Indeed, hmm. it's uh. Let's see. Uh, first off, we should actually let's let's see any. What's the best of another type of weapon that we have at the moment? We have the spears. We have to. Well, we're not going for the muskets. Oh, I misread Gondo Sinsunuri to Gondon Sola. Okay. <laughs> hey, wait, ain't that food? I have no idea. And this does the same damage, so let's see what this does. It's a club, so we should put on the swords expertise. <laughs> okay, it hits about as fast. Or... Ahoy! Oh, I uh, almost forgot. We need to empty out our purse to deny the boss. Yeah, buy that the 16 bit coin. Hello, miss. The samurai man sent a letter. What does it, it say? So adorable. Oh, in the great garden, seek the lunatic moon. Yeah, I think this was supposed to be the hint we'd be getting <laughs> to get into <laughs> the den of behemoths. So that's where I should go. You understand what he means? Whatever it is, it sounds scary. Now would be a good time to stock up. Yep. Oh, what would you like to buy? Yeah, that's where Probably is Probably what it? you should have done earlier. Stock up and be not to have much Please coin. You are. Okay, now we buy as many of these as we can. And... Yeah, might as well. Is this oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, Did you she what you left? Uh, what? Six? Wait, what? They said the one. Uh, oh, you, you, you spoke to your broke uh, candle, wasn't it? It's 
good to Looks like it, yeah. This time. But your head was one coin left. But then, like Scrooge McDuck, you found more. <laughs> okay, let's make a bunch of these. I'll go with this. And fun fact, folk, uh, that it just makes it more hilarious. In Sweden, Scrooge is not a Scotsman. He's a Dutch for some reason. <laughs> Have you told you before? In Sweden, his name is Joachim von Anka. This means well, Joachim von Duck. Okay, you have to link me a video of him speaking then. I like it. Yeah, sure. I, I think he speaks with a Gutenberg accent. Maybe. You should be able to find him on YouTube if you look up uh, Scrooge McDuck Swedish or just write Joachim von Anka. Yeah, I'll uh, give that a shot. Let's, let's see. I can look it up now, but... Uh, rather not get you copyrighted or something like that. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll just have to fight our way to the save points. You know, when I think about it, they did give him a Dutch name, but... We still have Scottish heritage with the uh, we killed and all. Okay, this one is the, this one oh, is the wait, closest. That just made me realize, I think it's due to that uh, weirdness. I actually thought that Vaughn and Van was part of uh, the Scottish uh, language. <laughs> okay. Then um, this would be uh, I would blame Disney for. A very weird uh, translation and name changing. Still have no idea why exactly he is here, except for only that. Uh, there we go. I remember it correctly. And you have saved, right? And we have to save room over there that we have to fight our way to anyways. Oh, all right. So, yeah, now we just have to backtrack <laughs> through this again. Yay! Okay. Though we can just speed this up by going across the roof like this. Hey, Milinowski! Completely missing each and every one of those. Okay, the Abyssal Guardian is below here. I think I know what's what happening. They get spooked by your scarf. Where's the first thing they see? Now it's just a question of dodging all of these. They they are good for experience again, but I'm not going to waste too much of everyone's time by trying to fight each and every one of them when you've already seen me get through here. Take the damage because we get healed here anyways. And 91.3 of all of the map seen. And there's still a bit over there. So... That's a, yeah, there's probably more uh, areas that we need to explore. Yeah, this is probably going to continue on into here. Yeah, and then... Yeah, you think there was hint for that as well, and then there's also the optional bosses. Which I wonder, if we defeat them, what may we get? 
I'm no, I'm guessing with the millionaire, we'd probably get like a ton of gold. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like before we fight the final boss, we should probably fight those as well. In case they give something that will uh, help us in the battle battles. I can give that a shot. For now though... Ah. Zangetsu or Moon Sunderer. Yeah, it, it's literally a blade meant to cut the moon. Yeah, it, 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 it makes sense now. Okay, Crown of Creation. What if there is something marked on the map you need to bring the crown to? I'm thinking that enemy that got the drop on us, uh, got the drop on us in the train, because that is marked with the crown as well. Hmm. So yeah, let, let's go kick this thing's ass. And yeah, I said I'd switch, I'd try more weapons, but I just want to kill this thing as quickly as possible. Quick, Aegis armor. Yeah. There we go. Let's put your luck to the test. Oh. Yeah, he can sort of reach us with that move. But you can't reach us with that, huh, can you? You laugh all you want. He's still healing. He's, he's... Okay, that, so he's still healed to like. <laughs> you, you didn't have much gold on you this time, so. Yeah, I, I still saw quite a few bits there. They were only ones and twos. A team and a locked all bets are off. Gold bullet. Weaponize 1% of your total gold and throw it in the designated direction. Okay. Um, I very much doubt that we'll be using that, especially now that we, well, we're broke as all hell. And that's going to you, you use coin, but you almost bought everything. Yeah, it would be useful there. Oh, that, that must be another Abyssal Guardian. And this is a new enemy, uh, Marbus. Variation. Oh, yeah, it was one of you. Come on. In this way, you hit you on his neck. No, we're doing a lot more to him than he is doing to us. There we go, gotcha mid air. Oh, I, I thought we'd gotten one of these again already. Void ray, send a blast of dark energy in the designated air direction. Okay. Ooh. Five hundred gold. I'm surprised that was a tactic he has made De by denying him gold to heal with. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Uh -huh. now what? Oh, chest. Only gold again. It was still quite a bountiful chest. <laughs> Don't take that out for context, people. Yeah, it's still a quite 
Was that the sort of trick that the developers were trying on, uh, on us or on the players? Like front load them with a load with a bunch of golds from those chests, specifically to uh, specifically for the boss that steals your gold. That would explain a lot. Okay, clever little bastards. <laughs> okay, let's leave those last few spots and just get out. Okay. <laughs> Quite a welcoming. And the room gets shot in the face immediately. Okay, that one went flying. In a different sort of way. So I wasn't imagining it then. I did indeed watch a battle. Break the sound barrier. Okay, nothing here. <laughs> I I do find it kind of funny that you can just stand on these guys and, and still get shot in the face by the other one. <laughs> okay. Oh, we go. Oh, we are low. Cashmere <laughs> equipment. Wait. Wait, a dead end? That can't be all that is over here. Or... Hmm. Maybe that note from Zengetsu was meant for this area. So, where is the moon then? Um, I think you just found the moon. I see all that. Look in the background. Yeah, I see it there, but it's not close enough. Actually, yeah, we'll need to we'll need to equip Zengetsu sword again. Oh. Uh, while you're doing that, let's clip your nails. <laughs> and two dragon eggs, nice. You were a key. Okay, let's see. Favorites. Should have done that a long time ago, actually, with some of these weapons. I get to Just been tough and get to Where is... Probably just... There it is. I look. You went to post it several times! This moon is a lot. It's just playing in the background. We can't hit it. it. Oh, I see. There's another exit. Wait. All right. Nope. Yeah, 
Get, get. Wait, Tick. What the heck was he doing? Well, he was trying to bite us. Wait. What is... How are you supposed to pull that off? Hmm. Did I accidentally pull that off or something? I'm just I'm just going to give up on that. Hey, wasn't there already a oh, thank you? Oh. Hmm. Healing you to, to, to come something. Let's see, wasn't there already another and that block move, but I, I think that's with a different sword. Yep. Hmm. Oh, uh, oh, new area. Okay, at least this one is normal sized. Uh, this wasn't here. Or... Wait, frozen demons oh, no. in the background? Has hell frozen over? On the normal map, this area connected to the uh, underground passage. And... It, hmm. Just a quick back to look in these last few squares just to fill them in. Uh, yeah, the, the theme of this this entire region seems to kind of be a, areas from the last area, but different. Like in this one, everything being giant. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. So the underground passage is being the difference there is that it's frozen instead of well underwater. Well, it might still be underwater, but it's all frozen. Is this supposed to be refers to Alice in Wonderland? Probably. And uh, ice elementals. And the one with poop who has a giant hat. A uh, giant. Did you say giant hat or giant cat? Hat. H A T. Hat. Ah. I'm still not eatable. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm still not eating that. Can you, you, if you said meat on the head, you do that we make a, a delicious meal and you look like that, don't eat it. That's a sign of someone being a terrible cook. Still hit by that. Uh, Over Kelkum, okay, that is. What we need for the final armor. Um, if it's an armor. But you found Kashmir. Uh, yeah, we, all, we also have that to look at. Um, though Kashmir sounds a lot more like a... <laughs> it's a fabric. Yeah, yeah, it's a fabric. Uh, yeah, because that, didn't show, because that didn't show up. Because my camera is hiding that. That was Kashmir that we found just right there, but... Casimir sounds a lot more for uh, spellcasters, so like a uh, mage armor. Yeah, I, I don't know about Kashmir piece, but I all I know about Kashmir is that it's pretty much made of cheap wool, but it's quality and it's the softest thing you can wear. Yeah, I think there is one other th uh, thing that is softer than that, and it's 
wool from a specific species of alpaca. I forget oh. how it's named. Crescent stroke. Wait. <laughs> that's the same. That's that's that same technique that we accidentally discovered when the wolf man was hugging us. Apparently, <laughs> it's the, the sheer coincidence. No oh, one finally a warp room. Which we maybe should use. So we can just walk back here now. Yeah. And That's a gate. That, 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 that looks suspicious. And wait, wait, wait. Crystal that? armor. Oh, what's mana? But yeah, let's teleport back and uh, resupply and see if there's anything new there going on. Yeah. Okay, let's see. And um, yeah, we could have just waystone, but uh, wouldn't have made much difference. Well, we were right next to a portal gate, so yeah. Let's see then. What's new here? So, what will it be? I very much doubt it'll be something new among the weapons here. Yeah, saw that it, one. If you make a cashmere plushy sword, it's gonna be the softest sword there is. Scatter shots. We have we have a ton of gun part. We might as well make really diamond bullets. Uh why? And another use for poison. Poison rounds. And these are pretty much hollow point bullets. There are actually no there those are already here. Yeah, hollow point. Armor piercing. Shield bane. Okay, that these are debuff rounds. Let's see anything new here? I think we already had this because it's Crimsonite. Or we ha already had the ability to make this. The recipe. I don't think we made, made what that, that one for. I don't think uh, seeing you use that on her. And that is, has some good stats. Yeah. Uh, intelligence oh. up, mind up, and defense. Oh, oh these look nice. It's, it's similar to what she started with. Uh, and it also bo boosts it boosts both defense and attack. Ooh. Coronation, coronation gown. Wait. Silk dress, alexandrite, and cashmere. Is that... I hope that changed our appearance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> that looks good. That, that as well, it would be hilarious for her to run around like a queen. <laughs> we'll, we'll need some Alexandrite. We'll probably find that in the new areas. And a silk dress. We can make a silk dress, I'm pretty sure of. Also, am I the only one that thinks that this would look real good if it, it, just, if it changed her appearance? Uh, possibly. We'll give her quite a lot of wood for a cape. I'll go with this. I really hope that if they make if they on their other games they will allow more and more armor to show on her. Or on what other characters they use in the future. Yeah, there are two more bloodstained games, but there I believe both of those are um eight bits or eight bit styled. Okay. Like there, uh, like there's a return to classic. Yeah. And I, I'll, I'll take a look at those. Uh, not sure if I will stream them though, but 
Let's see. We need three cows. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Look, read the name. Yeah, over the rainbow. A scarf that brings good luck and blessings to those. Uh, blessings to whoever finds it. Or over the rainbow. I can't sing for shit. <laughs> Uh, that sounds familiar, but I am completely drawing a blank on what. Oh, you sweet innocent! I'll go with this. I can't remember the song, but I do know I've heard something very similar to that. Oh, Wizard like of Oz. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think I've ever seen that fully. I've, I've seen, seen parts it of it. Only once. I used to see it partially, and one day I finally got to see it fully. And it was... Uh, okay, I get that. I was, I was young when I saw it fully once. So it's been years. So my opinion what I thought was of them and now would be very different, likely. Okay, and it seems we've... <laughs> it seems we've upgraded our welcome com company. <clears throat> Uh, spell as far as short as far as we can. Uh, is it, oh, I remember now. As a kid, very. Oh, pardon. Uh, as a very young kid, I used it to dislike Monty Python. I think it, it, I think I used not to like them until uh, my teenage years when I could understand the jokes better. Uh, I don't think I've seen too much of Monty Python stuff either. I know I've heard of plenty of it, of, of course. But... I think some of the episodes of the Flying Circus is on YouTube. All of them are removed. I know one of the movies I saw a lot of was the one with the... The... Uh, the office building pirate ship or something. <laughs> what? A... Oh, meaning of life. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. That which the the fat guy that stuffs himself so much he goes boom. Yeah, that one. That one was the one that actually made me start liking uh, Monty Python. Uh, that was the first Monty Python movie I actually properly watched and liked. Okay. But by then I was up by, of a right age I could understand the yokes. Let's see. Uh, and let's say this. Meaning of life is very mature in yokes and comedy. Like, the very first scene, you see someone getting chased off a cliff by a army of uh, basically naked women in very little protective sports gear. Uh, yes, I'm okay about naked. So, yeah. Not really meant for young kids. Uh, pretty much anything of Monty Python is not meant for kids, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Teenagers can get the yokes, but... Yeah, it, it would explain why me, as a very, very young kid, did, did not get into Monty Python. And were put off by them until I got older. Yeah. We got another stone mask. Actually, I, th I think, I think as a very, very young kid, I did see part of uh, Life of Brian. And I think one of the alien scenes there actually terrified me as a kid for some reason. I've seen fragments of Life of Brian, like I've seen fragments of a lot of things. Please tell me you've seen. How you defend against fresh fruits? Complete blank on that. And release the tiger. Yeah, I I don't know that one. Oh, Helian, that's one of the most popular classic one there is. The, the most classic one that I know of, except for uh, look on the bright side of life. Oh, he's uh, big as dick as. Alright, him. The only one I think many people know of is probably as one of the sketches is the. the dead parrots. 
I've heard of a parrot gag, but I again pretty sure I've not seen anyone and I'm pretty sure I could you. I could probably subtitle this episode as the one uh, as the, like the one where Hillian and Kier talk Monty Python and Hillian reveals he knows shit about Monty Python. <laughs> And from there, he gets ch chased uh, out of Holland. So apparently Holland is all fan of Monty Python or something. Th th that... Actually, that sounds like something Monty Python would make a sketch of. Probably. <laughs> and I think I heard that many of the best tricks that they made, they made when they were very drunk and wrote down. <laughs> That's... It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and um, here's the sad thing. Apparently, many of the Fogalabi track a little bit, the more and more they were forced to be sober. <laughs> for, probably for the health, um, I was not surprised that they got into some very bad stuff while I'm drunk. Yeah, like the 60s and 70s and some of the 80s, it's basically an open secret. That uh, like <laughs> half of the half of all of the popular media from that area was written or made uh, while well, the people who well they were on drugs or something the people who made it yeah the alcohol is probably better than some some of the drugs or yeah I know some drugs are not as bad as people say but there are some drugs that are never meant to be in your body. Like, I think there is some actually a dangerous one called Spice. Okay. Uh, I seen someone that he, he was uh, asking for water, and some idiot spiced it, his water with that spice. <laughs> um, good gods! He turned into a high paranoid maniac suspecting everyone was to get him and yeah they, they had to, after a while when people realized what was going on they had to grab him and bring him to the hospital he was even convinced a granny in the hospital was after to murder him that was the war horse's key, but the the worst drug that I know of is something called crocodile, I think. And the reason why it's likely one of the worst drugs is because it causes necrosis or something. And... Yeah, I can also understand that some people want to legalize some drugs, but there are some drugs like that that should be banned for obvious reasons. Yeah, I. I wouldn't call those things more... Those would classify a lot more like poisons or biological weapons. Yeah, and people... Yeah, but, but in so many ways, if people want to take that as a kick, despite the extreme side effects, that... Ugh. Yeah. It, it is concerning. What's also concerning oh. is that I'm low on health. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh... Don't eat the dog matter. Uh, actually, you know what we should do? Save and eat it. Yes. Because as much as it is a trope that something that looks so absolutely terrible that it's, uh, it's more likely to kill you than anything else, there's also a bit of a trope that, that it may look like absolute shit, but it tastes like uh, ambrosia or something. Yeah, and I just realized you have 97% of the map explored. Okay, so... It really is just this area... Where is it? Wait, where is it? Okay, it's not showing on the map over here. So, so we almost done with the game then. Yeah, it, though we are at um, almost at two hours. So, Mm. So, uh, this is up to you. We could do the melee bosses, then the final boss. I'm thinking uh, more that for we go a bit longer to explore that area a bit more until we find a second 
Uh, another safe and warp room. Uh, and then we call it. And that next time we give the optional bosses another shot. And then go for the uh, final boss. Sounds good. And you say it right? Yeah. Oh, okay. good. And did you read the flavor text? Uh, accidentally made a pun there. <laughs> you, you don't know what I mean. The lead is description. Yeah, an ominous black mass that's probably probably edible, but you first. Oh, no, 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 no. I insist you first. You made it. I insist uh, you, you first. Here we go then. And that did, that did, it poisoned us. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, wait, did, did it harm your health as well? Uh, no. So it only poisoned you? Yep. Why do I get the feeling that Granny wants that as a final thing or something? That actually will not that, that, that actually makes sense and how do you load from that uh, I'd need to go back to the title screen here yeah, it is it's not actually worth it to reload over but it's this yes, quick and uh, yeah, we probably want to save Miriam the, the memory of even the even just the memory of having to eat that. <laughs> you want to know what, what would be very sad? Mm -hmm. If that black batter was supposed to be porridge. <laughs> okay, here we go. The, the black man looked like he had tentacles. It, it looked Lord Mar. Uh, that's supposed to be uh, the smell or aura Look, coming off of it. The, the, no, the, the red stuff is smell, but there is looks like there is something wanna wiggle up. It looks almost alive. Yeah. And why is this room here? I think uh, this was a mini boss in the uh, actual area somewhere. Um, Let's see. Back. Just chop something. Hmm. Uh, I think she, I think she was shooting at the ice elemental here. Yeah, and the animation carried over into us entering. All right. Otherwise, it will be a warning sign. And that's a great axe, uh, outsider. Oh. Hello, it... It dropped something before we killed it? Do we? No, we don't have to... Actually, we should change this back. Hmm. Okay, I know we have... Do we... Wait, do we have one of the trays that does allow that to you? The, the, the crystals? No, not, it's not here. There is um, a passive one here. The pickpocket, I think. Yeah. No. Uh, allows you to sometimes steal items from enemies. That it's that is supposed to do that. It so. It said you can steal gold. Now that it was the upgrades. Ah. Uh, uh, where did all these mo is? That's a little pebble of monkeys. Or a cannon of monkeys. It's a cannon shooting out the monkeys. And you got more pickpockets. Red bean as well. I missed the first thing that you said there before those two lines. You got the pickpocket as well. Yeah, before that. Oh, I lost the. Is the oh, yeah, the cannon is shooting out the monkeys. Yeah. 
is that Gushian cannon? Yeah, this this area is not holding back any. Well, it makes sense considering Hell has a frozen over. Yeah. Because I think it's usually meant for. It never going to happen. You. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Okay. That's the upgraded versions. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay, that's that is good. Okay, because the danger of the enemies here just, just spiked crazily. And there's a boss. Tracer? Okay. <laughs> uh, certainly not the uh, Blizzard Tracer. Get out of my head! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about said that. Actually... Yeah. Yeah, those demon lords are dangerous. Yeah, and we love them for a boss fight. Yeah. Question is, how the heck did he deal with them when he fights the carpenter when he just bones them? Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Unless we can somehow destroy those signs that he built. Uh, stupid elemental. Yeah. And this... Wait, this is a... Augment one. Resist ice. <laughs> of course. Wait, I just realized. Are you sold the crystals? Uh, no. But a part of me is thinking that... A uh, part of me is thinking that they might still end up with uh, Dominique somehow, so I'm going to be careful with that. Because I really get the feeling that she is going to use whatever shards we've been selling and... Fragorak? Okay. A holy sword that answers to its master's com will. Hmm. It does holy damage. We haven't actually been looking at elemental damages a lot in this game. Yeah. So I wonder if that is a re like a uh, you could use it an alchemy to make it even stronger. For giving me that now, it, it's kind of weak. Yeah, well, only thing is you're supposed to use it for recipe. Maybe. For now, though, <laughs> let's freaking save here. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. There, there's some bit over here. It's a little bit over there. Hold on a second, actually. Archives, demons. One, wait. Valivar, one, two, three, four. One of these is going to be Dominique. Then we likely have Carpenter, Millionaire, Warhorse. Because we got that key as well. So, I think, I think this boss door over here is going to lead to Dominique. That or Grimmory. 
I would not be surprised if Dominic escapes to be a sequel boss or something. Uh, we'll have to see. Hmm. Now, though, we are a bit past two hours. But let, let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick look in those last two rooms to the left here. Alrighty, boss. And then we'll call it. Because I'm, I'm pretty convinced that the final boss is behind that uh, boss door. Or if not... We'll have to see. And we still have to figure out what the hell's up with Celeste's room. Yeah, the first is Celeste. There, there is some sort of puzzle there. What if Dominique is in the Celeste room? Um, a bit doubtful of that. But anything is possible, really. Oh, this freaking die. And the barrel of monkeys. It, not that. It was. I thought this had sti this one's still equipped. And it's only a box here. There's Wait. another room under our view. Yeah, but that's blocked. Oh. By a wall. Unless. Wait, can you breathe fire on the wall? That's what I'm going to try. <laughs> Nope. Maybe in a hotter fuck. What would be hotter than Inferno Breath? Like, mm. come on. Lane Cannon? I forgot that was more a flame thrower than a flame thrower. Hmm. I guess this means that there is likely to be more area behind that boss room. But for now, I think we are going to call it. Because I, I don't want to risk it being the final boss. And that we have to chase her around or something. Hmm. But at the same time, if if next stream it'd be awkward if it's only a half an uh, half an hour. True, but we we also have the the other rooms to explore. Wait, wait, let's try and meet them. Yeah, we did say that. Actually, I something that we could do to see how they. How long it might take us to beat those things. And let's see, where is it? There was one of these, I think. No, it was in here. Item that told you how much HP to have? Yeah. But seriously. We could use that to see if uh, we actually make anything of a dent in uh, them. Yeah, for. I've been wanting to suggest you that uh, to use that several times, but uh, yeah, always get sidetracked that again by something. Oh dear! It matches the color of her dress, sort of. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit lighter. <laughs> now she, she, now she looks a bit like a gender flipped uh, Morpheus. Uh. <laughs> Blue pill or red pill, Mr. Anderson? No, Mr. Anderson is what uh, Agent Smith called him. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You butchered that one. <laughs> okay. But for now, let's have a look at anyone who may be watching. Let's see. Uh... <clears throat> People I am not, or names I'm not naming are of like possible bots. If you are not a bot, speak up sometime. Otherwise, you will stay ignored. But I am seeing two new names here. 
So thanks for watching Storm U Storm Unity. I uh, hope I hope the uh, well, your Unity will get you and others through the storm. And Smirch. Uh, hopefully you won't end up smirched all over the road sometime. <laughs> what? Is smeared. <laughs> and of course, special thanks as always to Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome. And next time, more Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, in which we are probably going to take on Dominique, maybe find uh, the, f the true ending of the game. And be But before that, we'll try and take on, or at least explore, the other backer rooms. I, I'm just going to call them that. I, I am convinced those are rooms that are in there because of high tier backers. But, yeah. First though, tomorrow, another Something Sunday. And I'm, I think it will be just another four games this time. Or oh. up to four games. Yeah. But, as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks. Watch out for hamsters. <laughs>